Welcome back to FTP Insanity. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, in between episodes, I have been, uh, as I expected, a little bit busy. I've been working on uh, updating some of this logistic stuff. Uh, like, for example, putting in chassis pipes and some item sync modules and polymorphic item syncs here and provider modules i haven't got them all upgraded to that yet but i'm getting there uh you'll notice that i have expanded the laser array and you'll also notice there's a couple of empty spots up there where there could be a two more lasers there isn't because well i can show you if i put one of those on here it starts to work, and the lasers all turn green, which means they're not running at their full potential. So that's why I've got them off of there for right now. But that's temporary. I expect to be able to not only put two more lasers here, I expect to be able to, over on this side, put another 11, another full array of 11, which will speed this up considerably. Right now, it's working on making a second set of 64 each diamond and gold chip sets because they're needed. And what's been made up so far? Request logistics pipe, 64 of those. That's just a matter of uh, basic logistics and diamond and uh, gold gears. That was easy enough to do. Uh, just had to set up a little auto crafting. The gold and gates and the and the Diamond end gates are already done. Quick sort modules. That's uh, fairly easy to craft. It just cost a lot of diamonds to do. So that was an easy, easy auto craft to set up. Liquid supplier logistics pipes. That took a little bit of setting up and I needed to use... Well, you know how buckets don't stack in this version. So I needed to use, set up satellite pipe for that and whatnot. But... It, again, that was actually fairly easy to do. Um, so this is going to be for diamond ore gates and gold ore gates once they're finished up. And it's almost halfway through producing the chipsets it needs. Now, the next one I was going to work on is the chassis pipe Mark V. Basic logistics pipe with four blocks of diamond and four blocks of gold. That is really expensive. And that's because it's the most powerful of the uh, chassis pipes. Let's see. Get me that. And in here, I have set this temporarily to not be making dark matter, but instead to be making diamond block. I need four blocks of that. And then I need four blocks. Four, or four stacks of diamond block, excuse me. And then I need four stacks of gold blocks. And as fast as this thing makes EU, I mean, not EU, EMC, as fast as it does that, it's not fast enough. And so what I'm going to do is between next episode and this one, I'm going to extend this platform out this way. And I'm going to first, I'm going to move this over there and then I'm going to build four or five more of them and uh, you know just if with each one you build more it becomes easier to build the next one down the line now to make this work better I have already shut off all five of these farms and I need to shut something else off too I need to shut these things off and route the power that these engines are making over onto the grid that is supplying the refineries and the lasers. That is really the only things I want using Buildcraft Energy right now. So let's get some power pipe. And I'm going to head down here. Okay, now if I break this power line, that will shut down the whole biofuel production. Bang. Okay, now, let's just run the power from those engines over here, up 
All right. Now this should mean that I will, for one thing, be able to put those other two lasers on. And they go to blue and everything's great. All right, awesome. Now, let's make up 11 more lasers. All right. And we'll pop 11 more lasers on there and see how that treats the power supply. Uh, specifically, see how easily the power supply can handle it. I'll put the first three on here. Let's do it right. Okay, that's good. We got eight more here. All right, this is looking good. And another bit of that. And another bit here. And one more laser. All right, this ought to speed things up nicely. Oh, yeah, you can see this progress bar going up. We'll have uh, all these done in much better time. All right, meanwhile, over here at the fuel production facility, I have shut the oil provider system off. The pump, is, the redstone engines are still running, but that's no big deal. Because I figured something out. See, what I wanted to do is I wanted to go ahead and put a pipe down here and I wanted to throw a gate right there. And then I wanted to be able to go in here and say space for liquid, redstone signal on. And you'll notice that this does not say that bar right there is not red which means according to this gate the tank is full and i figured out why the gate only reads up to 16 tanks high and so what i need to do what i'm doing is i'm letting the refinery run as and as it does so it's using up the oil out of this thing and i'm going to get this thing down to where this will actually put out a signal saying, hey, there's space for liquid in the tank. As a matter of fact, let me fix that up just a little bit. Uh, stone cover strips. Probably a cover or two. Some red alloy wire. And a knot gate. All right. Now the knot gate, I'm only just I'm just gonna put it down here. I'm not actually gonna hook it up yet. So we take this and that will disable the timer. What I'm gonna do is eventually a redstone signal here will be sent over there into the knot gate, which will turn off the knot gate and let the timer run. Alright, cover. I don't want it connecting with that. Okay, now cover strips like so, so that I can run these two redstone wires right next to each other. Without them uh, short circuiting as it were. Like I said, I'm not going to hook it all the way up yet. Right now, I'm doing this so that it will give me a visible indication. All right. 
it was a structure pipe over there or stone jacketed wire that's what I meant yeah all right so we take stone jacketed wire here we put redstone signal wire under it and to here okay so now when this condition is true the gate will turn on a redstone signal and this wire will light up and that way I will know when the tank when the liquid in the tank is low enough for that thing to see that there is space in the tank and then I can take this to the next step hook that wire up get rid of the excess amount of tank on top hook this wire up and then that signal will start this procedure in uh, this thing going and supplying oil this thing is I don't think we need that kind of a mechanic over here on the fuel supply so I'm just gonna let that stack up as high as it'll go because powering all these engines I want to make sure that I've got more than enough fuel all right let's see I was gonna go ahead and start making more of these now but really uh, as much EMC as I know that is in there it isn't enough to make a tier 3 power flower it's it just isn't so I am gonna hang out and uh, just kind of let things run as that's the one thing about this being a single-player world the only time things run is when I'm here when I'm actually logged into it so yeah and oh by the way the mass fabricator is turned off got a setup here that pulls the uh, UU matter out I am letting this get filled up with uh, scrap and once it's full I'm gonna shut the recyclers off and meanwhile I'm gonna get some daylight and then I'm gonna hang out for a bit and just let this stuff run so that these get finished Alrighty, the lasers just turned off a minute ago. That's finished. That means we have redstone golden chipsets, diamond chipsets, and let's see, I'm going to need red, blue, yellow, and green pipe wire. Pop those in there. The diamond chipsets and these, and we're going with gold and gates, and no, gold or gates, and diamond or gates. There we go. All right, that is going. How is the progress here? Getting there. And meanwhile, I have not been completely idle. I'm working on something over here. I have eight MV transformers, and I have two sets of eight low-voltage solar arrays. And now I'm going to order four more. Because I can't order more than four at a time or it overloads the uh, logistics crafting system. <laughs> the logistics crafting system is beautiful and powerful, but it does have its limitations. That even with severing, setting everything up on uh, satellite pipes and all that, and being very careful about how you set things up and how everything goes, it is possible to overload it and more than four low voltage solar arrays at a time is too much because each low voltage solar array of course is eight regular solar panels and what am i planning to do here well let's go have a look in here you will notice this item here excremental tons of energy back behind the throne here is an HV transformer and I'm going to run a power line from there actually let's run it up to the ceiling let 
You just run it up and down the center. Oh, come on. Oh, it's these micro blocks. They're in the way. All right, fine. We'll run it over this side. I'll run this power line out in front of the place. And once I get it finished, I'm going to hook up the first of several medium voltage solar arrays to this power line because one of the quest objectives is to provide 100 million EU. So says the sign right there. And there is, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I believe there's like an array of MFSUs in there. And what you have to do is fill all of them. And uh, that takes a lot of energy. And these solar arrays will help with that. And, oh, here's four more. All right. No, no, no. Four at a time, thank you. Any more than that, and you will confuse the poor system. All right, so once that's finished, I'll be able to get going with that. All right, now, how's this going? All right, that is still not switched on. We have two more tanks that I can remove off of this. What I've been I, That's what I've been doing, it's just... Every time a tank empties without showing that uh, wire is being lit up, then I remove that tank because I need this thing to be able to tell when there is space in this thing. So I got to make this thing short enough for that to be able to read it. Okay. Grab some daylight. And, yeah. Okay, how are we doing here? Yeah. What do we got in here? I've been grabbing these as well. Well, it's getting there. But it's going to take a little while. So, meanwhile, I'm going to continue making solar arrays. And, uh checking on this every now and then and whatnot and seriously I, oh man i'm almost thinking that i should go ahead and take this this stuff in here and use it to make another one of these just simply because it would speed a whole lot of things up to have more than one of those producing emc uh, we'll see about that. In the meantime, I will be back. All right. You know, I'm a patient guy, but this is getting on my nerves. It has been too long. So, and that's just for the diamond block. Then there's four more stacks of gold block. You know, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make use of this stuff while it continues to generate more EMC. I am going to get in gear. Let's see. I need 17 of those. Two more. There we go. And I need an energy condenser. And I need five of the Mark III relays. Are you kidding me? Oh, there's another one here. Here's a few more in there. Oh, 
almost there. I'll tell you what. I'll let the system start working on that. I will go over here and start building. New section I've just finished adding on. All right. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, these things are five blocks across. going here. Start with the dark matter. Antimatter relay on that one. Not quite there yet. Oh, got it. Let's see, this thing has been making diamond for a while. How much is in here? I used to think that made diamond fast. There we go, last one. And that thing is getting really low. Okay. this all right it's complete it needs some glowstone to be totally complete but frankly these things do actually radiate light and i've been keeping it daylight anyway all right now there's two of them running and the output of them will be used to build a third, and so on, because I just come over here, All right. one, two, three, one, two, and then one, two, three, and one, two, and then one, two, three, which is keep adding on to these things. So let's just, is that right? One, two, three, four blocks between them. All right, one, two, three. Get back out in there. Four. All right, there we go. All right. This is going to turn into a line of those things. And yeah, that's going to make life a little easier. Now, let's see. Retriever. A retriever because this is a good way 
to, uh, okay, I bet I can probably ask for a filter, right? That's not a filter. Oh, you don't know how to make filters? Oh, good night. All right. Filters, these are some gold piston and a red dope wafer, which I should have over here in the red power chest. All right, some red doped and some blue alloy. All right, filters. Oh, gold. Would you believe? I think I've just run out. No, I haven't run out of EMC glass. Where's the gold? Doped wafers. I don't know if I'm actually going to make 32 of them, but let's get a bunch of pistons. That'll take a moment. Get some daylight going on here. Check on the oil tank. I've taken that thing down several notches. As I've been waiting here. Wire is not lit. I guess we take it down another notch. I could just go ahead and break these tanks, but I don't really want to waste the oil, even though, you know. And then... Now, some brass, some leather, ender pearls, iron. Some iron. Brass, leather, and ender pearls. There's leather. There's ender pearls. Okay. Iron and blue alloy. Okay, leave that go, throw the stuff in there, not that. Okay, actually this can probably live, say, oh, let's just drop it here. A retriever is one of those things that's going to need power, so I'm going to need that kind of battery box, which means I'll need BT batteries, copper, tin, and nickelite. I have some copper over here. Not enough, really. Tin. I already picked up some Nicolite.
I will get these things set up to auto-craft another time. Right now, I just want to get it done. That's probably more than I'm going to need. All right, battery box. I only need four for that. Okay. We need four of the BT batteries. And some iron. And some blue alloy. And a bit of wood. Bang. Battery box. And now we need to get some power for the thing. And that's where the blue doped wafers come in to make red power solar panels. These guys. Blue alloy with blue doped wafers. Okay, pop that on top of there, and it will begin to accumulate some power. And meanwhile, where is my screwdriver? There we go. Get this thing rotated. Actually, I guess it doesn't matter. Now, how about actually, it does matter. But if I placed it like that. All right. Pneumatic tube is where. That's not going to be enough. Does auto crafting know how to make that just yet? Should. But then again, a lot of things should. Okay, I have a lot of auto crafting to set up. Get me some glass. Because. That's the easy part. Okay. So the way this is going to work, and I actually need to set this back to dark matter. Now, now that this works, all I need is a timer, which I should have ordered, I think. Yeah, I should have just ordered a timer. A timer, which will pulse this thing. Once it has power, that means it will begin pulling the item that it is set up to pull. Which in this case is going to be dark matter. It will retrieve that. Okay, and then I just need a chest. Do I have one in here? No, of course not. That would make too much sense. 
bang. Where's my timer? Or did I pick it up already? Yes, I did. All right. Timer right there. All right. That's good already right there. Uh, I'll leave it on two seconds for right now. Okay, Mr. Retriever, you're supposed to be pulling that dark matter out of there. Of course, it may not have enough power just yet. Give to me a lever. Which apparently I already had. Stop the timer. Let this thing charge up. Now it'll work. Charge it up. Start firing. And there comes the dark matter. Great. And what's going to be even more great about it is I'm going to set up some of this tubing. It goes down there. And then we'll go over to this thing. More tubing. We'll send it under the platform. Right along this line where the other uh, solar flowers are going to be. So that it will be easy to hook them into this pneumatic tube pipeline. I might need more of this. Oh, maybe not. There. Now the dark matter from there gets pulled as well. And it all ends up right there. Let me get some daylight here. I really have to glowstone that other one up, but it's going to get a lot easier to do things like that. Does it matter? I also know, yeah, it just takes a little while for this stuff to flow down here. But there we go. More dark matter. And the water's coming up every minute. So we'll take this, drop it in here, drop these in here. And get this charged up. And at the same time... Uh... Oh, for crying out loud. I wanted to focus the thing on energy, but I had an energy item right there. All right, what did I need? Glowstone. For this thing. I know it's not strictly necessary, but I figure what the heck. It only costs a comparatively small amount to do it, so why not? 
Okay. Now we've got a decent bunch of stuff. I got a. Oh, I don't want that. I want an energy condenser. And a diamond block. Let me go ahead and break this. Diamond blocks. Bang. Okay. That is uh, about it right there. I just realized how far over I've gone on time. But here we are just about... Four minutes or so after I start this, set this up, we're already up a good number of diamond block. What I'm going to do between this episode and next is I'm going to complete this line with these things. And all of this uh, dark matter will end up getting pumped into this energy condenser where I will be able to convert it into whatever I need or have easy access to it without having to go to each and every one of these. Get them built up, get them hooked up to the uh, tube system there. Pardon me, I'm not feeling my best today. And yeah, that's about it. But uh, yeah, and next episode... We will have some serious completion. Speaking of completion, I just noticed that, first of all off, that's... Oh, it ran out of red pipe wire. I'll bet you that's it. Oh, this blue it needs it to. Not that one. This one. It's a full stack. Okay, that's what it was. Yeah. All right. I was beginning to be hopeful that it had finished. All right. This is still not showing a redstone signal. Even though, well, condition space for liquid is still not true. Uh, I'm beginning to wonder now. Is it not going to be able to detect that for the array of tanks, but only for this one tank that it's actually connected to? That's not a hundred percent wonderful. But meantime, getting a whole lot of fuel built up over here. How is these engines doing? It looks like the piping is finished with biofuel but the engines themselves still have a load of biofuel in them i could probably go ahead well, i can at least break that and that and i may go ahead and start hook and hook up some plumbing from here over to there so that at the very least the piping here will fill up with fuel and be available when the biofuel runs out in the engines. That might be an idea. Meanwhile, I'm going to keep an eye on this and see how it ends up working out. I don't know. Maybe one tank will be sufficient. I don't know. But it just strikes me as being a little bit not quite right. But we'll see. In the meanwhile, thanks for watching. Take it easy. I am out of here.